Hello everyone, welcome back. So this is an update on the EEG 2025 competition. If you have not yet watched the previous intro video, you might want to uh, watch it now. So we have finished the warm up phase and now we're moving on to the final phase of the challenge. So this is getting very serious and unlike the warm up phase where there was potential data leakage, um, the data for the final phase is unpublished. So we're adding about 300 new uh, unpublished subjects. And so your model will uh, really be tested with unseen data. And as you know, uh, we got two challenges. And as many of you have noticed, challenge two is definitely harder. And so it's designed to push the limits of what we know about EEG. So we've made a few updates uh, based on your feedback. First, we want to maximize the chances of getting results for challenge two. And as you might remember, there are four possible metrics associated with the data, P factor, attention, externalizing, internalizing. Uh, if you want more detail, look up on the data tab of the competition websites. And originally uh, we thought for change two of using P factor, but it seems that externalizing is a little bit easier. So we're switching uh, to this one. Also, we were processing the resting state data, but we're switching to contrast it detection change data. So not a part uh, like in challenge one, just segmented two seconds. And the reason is that first there is more data than the resting state data. And uh, also in our test, there were slightly uh, better results with this uh, data. So even though that seems like a lot, nothing much has changed on channel two. We're still using uh, predict from based on the psychological factor and it's still segmented in two second chunk and still using RNSC. If nobody is able to get uh, below 0 0.99, then we'll just discard all the scores for challenge two and we'll just use only the score for challenge one. Uh, we are not able to get ourselves below uh, 0 0.99, but you guys are way smarter, so I don't have any much doubt you'll be able to do that. We were able to train models where uh, the loss in the validation set nicely decreases. So there's, uh, there's data there for sure. Also, if you try to train on age, for example, it's super easy. So uh, we're looking forward to seeing your results on challenge two. Another good news is that all Carter bench issue have not been resolved. There's less weight and also more cores from the San Diego Supercomputer Center. Um, and a huge thanks to everyone who's making this possible. Pierre for fixing bugs on brand decode and assisting with Carter bench. Young for his incredible volunteer work on training models, uh, Silva for Coda, Coda Bench coordination, and all the Coda Bench team, of course, Yaya for managing the data, and of course, Bruno for the EG database infrastructure uh, that hosts the data and also for coordinating the competition. Bruno was supposed to do this presentation, but he didn't have time to get an air cut, so I had to do it. Also, thank you to your extended team. And also, very importantly, thank you all for your contribution to all the open source software surrounding this challenge. That's very much uh, appreciated. As before, you can find all the details on the competition websites, and we're still actively adding new examples on the EEG Dash website, including how to use all the releases in this challenge for training. We're not there yet, but they'll be there in the next couple of days. We we'll also update the paper, of course, and don't forget to join us on Discord if you haven't uh, already. Meta is sponsoring this round, and so there is cash waiting at the end, so don't miss the deadline. Good luck for the final phase. We can't wait to see what you come up with. <laughs>